Well, hi, everybody. I'm Don Stewart. This is Breaking News. It is 7.15 p.m. on the West Coast here on Thursday, the 18th of April. And the news has just come over the wire that looks like Israel has attacked Iran. Let me read you from the Jerusalem Post. The latest Syrian reports indicated airstrikes targeted sites to the Syrian army in uh, the southern Syria. An Israeli missile strike targeted a site in Iran also early Friday morning, according to ABC News. Report came shortly after local sources reported explosion in Ishafan in central Iran and in the As Suwaita governance in southern Syria and in the Baghdad area in the Babil government of Iraq early Friday morning. Videos reportedly from Ishafan appear to show Iranian air defenses activated in the skies over the area. The Iranian semi official FARS news agency reported that an explosion was heard in, I can't pronounce this. Kwaja Vestan, east of Ishafan, and near the Ishafan International Airport. Far stress that the cause of the explosion was unknown as of yet. And there's also reports, of course, uh, strikes belonging to the Syrian army, targeted sites to, uh, uh, of Syria, and the Syrian army also took place in southern Syria. Oh, so we've got these reports just coming over the wire right now. So contrary to what we heard earlier today, that was a story from Qatar, that Israel had agreed not to um, uh, bomb Iran, you know, until uh, the U.S. gave the okay, and supposedly, if, since the U.S. gave the okay for Israel to go into Rafah, they would they would cease hitting Iran, hitting back. Well, it looks like that was a false story, a fake story, because we said this was the story report. In fact, the Jerusalem Post, the same periodical, reported the story that Israel had agreed not to strike Iran. And maybe that's just something they put in the news just to keep Iran off guard. But it looks like, again, here, breaking news, uh, tonight, um, West Coast time, early morning in um, Middle East, as it were, it looks like uh, Israel has hit back at Iran, also southern Syria, and also near Baghdad. And of course, these are places where the terrorists are. So um, if we get more news later, we'll uh, come again and give you the latest updates. We'll do breaking news. but And of course, we'll be doing it tomorrow morning. But again, just to report the headline, it looks like Israel has struck back at Iran, hitting a place in the southern central in the central part of the country, also in southern Syria and near Baghdad. So uh, let's see what happens now. See if what Iran does in retaliation, see what the rest of the world does. OK, I'm Don Stewart and we'll be back later if we have to give you some more updates. But until then, as always, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray God's word gets out to the world. This is a very, very Interesting time to be alive, very difficult, but we know God is faithful and we know how it all can end. All right, as always, may the Lord richly, richly bless.